Hello everyone, my name is Eunjin Kim, and today I will be presenting about Micro Revolt, a knitting activist organization protesting feminine sweatshop labor. Sorry about the note, but yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, this presentation will introduce Micro Revolt, <clears throat> an organization. I'm sorry. <clears throat> sorry about that. An organization that relates to craftivism and anti-sweatshop activism. I will cover what it is, the founder, Kat Matza, and their actions, including the Knit Pro software and Nike Blanket Petition. Finally, we I will provide resources that can be linked to creating a new Wikipedia page about Micro Revolt. Micro Revolt is an organization, a website that promotes knitting as a form of activism against feminized low wage sweatshop labor. The concept of Micro Revolt is inspired by the idea of molecular revolutions. In Kat Matza's, the founder of Micro Revolt interview, she posed questions such as What if social change was not simply a consequence of governing or economic policies? and small disconnected resistant acts overlapping to nudge along change? And what is the political potential of craft? And can it be an avenue for pleasure as well as organizing for social goods? These questions were how she came up with the idea of establishing a craftivism organization. Craftivism is a form of activism that incorporates forms of anti-capitalism, environmentalism, solidarity, and feminism that is centered on practices of crafting or making a product. The term was coined by a writer, Betsy Greer. The goal of craftivism is to create a space for dialogues and reflection on social and political issues through engaging in creative expressions such as knitting, sewing, and embroidery. Micro Revolt had a strong interest in the anti-sweatshop movement. The sweatshop is a factory in which clothes are mass produced for Western chains, usually in poor conditions with minimum wage. The conditions of these sweatshops violate several laws from child labor to um, health and safety. The conditions of these sweatshops violate several laws. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. Since the 1970s, with the rise of export-based industrialization, the demand for female underpaid labor in the developing countries has increased. To make changes and let people know of the severe working conditions, Several campaigns and films critiqued and tried to make changes. A series of local groups networked into a coalition called Sweat Free Communities and campaigned for better trade and purchasing policies. There also have been films like Makila Police and China Blue that have helped raise awareness about feminized sweatshop labor. The founder of Micro Revolt, Kat Matza, is a textile artist. On the top right, um, it's another project of hers that she worked on outside of Micro Revolt, titled Labor Sister Sampler in 2016. It is a 10 foot wide knitted timeline of labor history. Each motif in every state symbolizes key moments in the female labor movement. In the Micro Revolt website, Kat Matza introduced a web application that translates digital images into needle crafts, such as crochet, knitting, and embroidery. Using the Knit Pro program, the organization worked on logo knitting in the Tactical Media Lab in Troy, New York. In the year 2003 to 2006, knitters in Micro Revolt knitted garments with the logos of sweatshop offenders. Their purpose was to stimulate dialogue on digital copyright, corporate monopoly, and the feminization of labor in global capitalism through knitting corporate logos. From 2003 to 2008, a group of international knitters, uh, knit, knit and crochet hobbyists participated in the Micro Revolt project 
the Nike Blanket Petition. It is a 15 foot wide handmade swoosh and each square was crocheted, crocheted as a petition for fair labor policies for Nike garment workers. Petitioners came from 37 countries and from every state in the US. Squares accumulated from micro revolt workshops and exhibition tours and donations from global knitting circles. Volunteers who made multiple squares later added signatures in the wet form. Um, the border was stitched together at Garanti Gallery in Istanbul in no November 2007, next to a Nike store. And the quilt was finalized in Troy, New York in 2008. Once the Nike logo was finished, participants made multiple colored squares for the borders and connected to the swoosh. On the very top left is the list of people who participated in the petition. It used to be an interactive web page, and as you move the mouse cursor, the sign name, city, state, and country came up. The petition declared that clothes for sale in my community produced in the U.S. or abroad should be manufactured in accordance with established international labor organization conventions and monitored by independent auditors that are neither funded nor founded by the corporations accused of labor exploitation. Corporations using subcontracted labor have a responsibility to ensure that their products must be produced in a safe and healthy workplace without child or forced labor. Corporations using subcontracted labor also have a responsibility to ensure that workers are paid a living wage as opposed to the legal minimum wage and workers have the freedom to associate and form independent unions. The crocheted blanket traveled to craft circles, art galleries and activist venues to mobilize the public um, in the anti-sweatshop initiative. Um, here are some lists of exhibitions uh, where the Nike blanket petition was presented. And in 2010, one that is bold in bold was an exhibition only nine miles away from Nike headquarter at the Museum of Contemporary Craft in Portland, Oregon. Uh, the Nike CEO, Mark Parker, has been invited and has politely agreed to visit the museum before the last day to see the um, swoosh. However, um, he never came. That's what was said in the Micro Revolt blog post. Lastly, um, here are some resources that could be links to Micro Revolt new Wikipedia page. Uh, and I will be share, stop sharing and adding those resources to the chat. Thank you for listening to the chat. And then I might move them. Um, well, we, I think everybody here is on here, so we can get them on, on the chat. Otherwise, yes. um, we can also put them right on our meetup page. So oh, OK. That. Let me just. The chat's fine, though, and then okay. we can go from there. Um, no, you don't want yeah, to create an article, well, but you do well. nest it. You, you find something where, like this, a Nike sweatshop, you find something like that in which we now can talk about this micro revolt activist group. And then this history and then add a reference or something. Oops. Wait. Um, mm -hmm. Visual editing. So I think I think there are some there are references that are on websites that would just be an external link to something on, on a website but the more the fact that it's an organization and it's been going on since um where did i see the first date like what two, three yeah three yeah, it's oh, been yeah. so the, we, we could even begin that paragraph protest against yeah. nike because they only start with 2005 so we could put it up at the top of that paragraph right in the 2003 it's the that would be a micro correction. Revolt. Yeah, mm -hmm. Nike blanket petition. Yeah, but I guess sir. I should be doing this in an hour.